Rosa versus Duck Hunt. Duck Hunts. Should be interesting to say the least. Oh yeah, uh, I think uh, I'm pretty sure this is not a good matchup for Duck Hunt because it's uh, Rosa just basically just absorbs all of his projectiles. Um, little known fact: Rosalina is a. Uh, sound like a standing. <laughs> but yeah. I'm pretty sure I've heard uh, a couple Duck Hunt players complaining about this matchup. Well, let's see how uh, Troll Dog. Troll Dog does have experience fighting Shady, so our resident Rosa. So I mean, he we'll does see. have Lumagon now, too. Yeah, which is always good. Um... So, yeah. Ooh, what he, up? He got a Keep the pretty chat bad Nisconic quick. on that grab right there. What was that? I'm sorry. No, Connor had a uh, whiff the grab, and in return, Troll Dog just ran past him and whiffed the pivot grab. Oh, oh man, <laughs> the double whiff. I want to try to go over to uh. Right, so Troll Dog is going under the stage. I wanted to look at the Twitch chat, but oh well, maybe I'll load it up on my phone instead. I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay, I don't know. I can figure out like how to get the mouse over there. <laughs> Get this dog out of here. Alright. Ooh, and then just that forward smack gonna take out Troll Dog's oh, first man. dog. The one thing I'm worried about with Troll Dog is that he does get like antsy mm -hmm. pretty easily. So but I think he's still playing well. Ooh, one for the spike. Do you wanna just narrowly missed it too? Yeah. He might have been better off just going for a forward air or back air. Oh, yeah. Now, he knows you want to aggress Rosalina offstage because, like, her recovery is linear. Um, it's kind of easy to gimp, so... Yeah. Nice! Oh, very nice. Stage spike! <laughs> Troll Dog is really good at doing that. I've noticed he's he's got a. He makes you preoccupied with all his projectiles. But yeah, and then it just comes out when you don't expect it. Yeah. Oh, can he come back? And that's gonna be oh, it. Yeah. Oh no. Duck got tired. Shalom. Shalom. Oh, wait, do you want to go to commentary? Yes. Okay, here you go. All right, Keith. Yeah, he doesn't want to be. Keith and I are a commentary dream team. You're still in the tournament. Because we, we understand each other as mid tier Smash mains. SmashCon? What about SmashCon? You Smash Yeah, yeah, we should apply to commentate SmashCon. A couple of mid tier mains. A couple of good old, good old mid tier mains. Hey, right. who won game one? Uh, it was uh, Connor. Three, two, nope, that one. Haha! <laughs> hey! <laughs> the two arrows, what? Two arrows. Two arrows. Two arrows. Two arrows. Okay, my name is Drex, guys. We're here also joined by the lovely, incredible, amazing AC Menace Saga herself. No AC Menace. I'm trash. I'm awful. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. This has been AC Menace Saga. Uh, AC Menace Saga 2 will never happen again. No. <laughs> it shouldn't happen again because I'm garbage. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Avro Raptor, what's up, my boy? But we're watching Troll Dog versus Connor right now. A Peach versus a Rosa. This is a very interesting matchup. Yeah. Was there any. Did they switch characters from game one? Uh, yeah, because uh, Troll Dog played Duck Hunt, which um, he was actually doing pretty well, I think, uh, despite Duck Hunt being a pretty. Um, pretty not good matchup, I think. Against I, can, I can imagine the switch, though. Like, yeah. there's a lot of characters where Troll Dog actually feels a lot more obliged to go with someone like yeah. Peach, but that Luma is so annoying. That range it's, is the so range obnoxious. is insane. Yeah. Look at that. Look how far it goes. And it's still active. <laughs> Troll Dog waiting for something here. That up smash missing. Nice grab out of the shield. Oh, catching what? the down air. Yeah, nice. Good. Nice, nice. All right, we're um pretty even, but oh, using the turn up. Shoulder starting to pull ahead, getting the lead here. That up smash without the Luma from Connor. The up air going oh. to kill. 
My oh, God. Man. I think Rosalina he had a DI that, like, Rosalina's put down and towards her or something. Like, I think he could have survived. Maybe. Oh, using the down beat for the turn up. Cholog a little too high on the float to catch him with the down air. Yeah. Back throw off the stage. So how, how close? You would say game one was pretty close? Uh, I think so until, I mean, it ended kind of early because um, Connor ended up spiking. Not even like spiking him too hard, but it was like, yeah, doing that. The dare on uh, Duck Hunt. And he like fell just like a little too far to be able to make it back because he was already using his recovery. Mm -hmm. So like, and it's like a finite recovery, kind of oh. like Rob's or Walmart's or something. So. Oh, that could have been really dangerous. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Jenny Sidey actually on the limo, but it won't matter because Luma is back on stage. Connor had a good 125%. Oh, oh my God. No. I don't know why uh, Troll Dog decided to um, float. Right over uh, Rosalina. Uh, what a good character. A list of things to add to the not good idea list. I don't know. Rosalina and Luma. <laughs> That's just a bad idea in itself. Bad. <laughs> a, a good nerf to Rosalina and Luma would be getting rid of Luma. Even Chad. Look at Chad. Oof. Oof. It's eh. so you bad. You feel it. You feel it like in your, uh, your something. Your something. You feel it. Going into game three. three. Connor is up 2-0 currently. Oh, we got a color switch. Cool. We got a color switch had, on the road. Like what does that color, usually mean? Color. That means, um, you know, that means the, the player is indecisive and doesn't, like, commit to a color. And um, you got to be more, like, it also means that they're indecisive in their uh, neutral play. I sometimes, That's my thorough and correct analysis. I, <laughs> and correct. <laughs> and correct Anything analysis. else is just wrong. Yes. I, I sometimes feel like the color switch can mean a different, even a different thing. It means, like, like, a different mood, like a mood ring. Like, they, like sometimes if they lose, like, game one or something, yeah. then all of a sudden they change colors. It's just like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Well, I wasn't going, like, here's my fault. Was, yeah. This is my room, my final form. <laughs> you haven't even seen my final oh. form, black dress. Yeah, I think the black dress is like if you're angry, you just like become edgy. Rosalina. It's a different play style. It's like you with pit and dark pit. No, it's, it's like it's like your pit, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I'm edgy, dark. No, pit. it's literally because I notice a habit in the player, and I want to exploit it by using side B. It's oh, literally, using the toad, but literally what it is. I, I like that actually. Duh, it doesn't stop the, his momentum as much as something like uh, the Witch Time Wood with Bayo. Mm -hmm. But Trollog deciding to use. Oh my god! What, the what forward happens? Smash. Did you say F smash? Forward Did smash with the Luma. Uh, Dave, I mean, Trollog is really just. Um, Waffling too much at the ledge. He's, yeah. just, he's just messing around at the ledge like way See, too hard. It, it's weird because this is something I would say isn't completely new, mm -hmm. but it's something different for NSC because yeah. we have one Rosa player, uh, It's Shady Best, yeah. who, um, who he's still a good Rosa, mm -hmm. but like he's nowhere near the level that Connor is because Connor is Did nice. You see really that? Nice Fair calling up the calling out the uh, up smash. I can't even talk right now. But like, oh, was sick. Connor's Rosa is insanely good. He is number one ranked at Stevens. Yeah. And it's just an overall am amazing player. So dealing with a top level Rosa like this is somewhat new and difficult for a couple of N the NST people. Using the back throw to throw off stage. The turn up not gonna hit. Covering back onto stage. Yeah. Um. Where were we? I'm sorry. I got distracted. <laughs> you got distracted. Up air. Up air. Up air. It's, 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 it's Rosa. Uh, yeah, that's true. You no, see oh, oh, Troll. Oh, nice no, troll that was, there, but that was Rosalina is too far out of the range. Peach looks like a little kid next to Rosalina. <laughs> Rosalina's like this weird Amazon woman. <laughs> don't I don't understand. When, when I first got this game, then I like saw Rosalina. I was like, she's so like tall. She's so tall. It doesn't make any sense. Like, how tall do you think the Luma is then? Because, like, if she's that know. tall, you know? Well, let's, like, uh, let's do some math. If I assume Game that Rosalina... If I assume that Rosalina is uh, eight and a half feet tall... If we can measure the pixels on Rosalina, <laughs> it is confirmed that she is about 5'6". No. While she Peach is about 5'3". No, Rosalina theory. is big. She says she's an Amazon woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, and that is the game. That's that it. is a clean 3-0 from Connor coming out here.